Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today I will be doing another full game breakdown video because this game was just too intense now I know I've done a lot of these those lately but let me explain first of all the scheme that I'm running right now I don't feel comfortable showing all of it yet because I'm not playing that well and also I'm not having a lot of time to do YouTube videos because school is picking up back again all of this that good stuff and I've been streaming a lot of, on Twitch Link is in the description if you want to check that out. Pretty much play every weekend league game on there. So I really have not had time to do that much for YouTube, but I still want to put out some content that can help people. These these full game breakdowns, they're really fun to do for me because I can look back at the things that I did wrong, and they're also really informative. They can help you guys out a lot now. This game this was not uh, played on stream, thankfully because it was not a pretty game. I did not play that well in my opinion. You're gonna see how it turns out. It's a pretty interesting game from a momentum shift standpoint. We look at it anyways. I think you guys get the idea. Ready? I'm searching. And yeah. Also, just later today, I'm gonna be streaming one once more on Twitch. Link is like I said in the description. Gonna be playing against some viewers. I don't feel like playing online currently. Just not trying to sweat as much. Also, don't wanna play. Uh, the game unless it's weekend league time which i'm of course also gonna stream so everybody and anyone that wants to play versus me today is your chance go check out the twitch it's, i'm gonna be live on twitch i think about one hour after i've released that vi this video that i'm recording right now and i will also do an announcement video that's also gonna be uploaded to my youtube just so everybody gets it that i'm streaming on my twitch now i think at this point i was 15 and Six, 15, 15 and six or fifteen and seven, and we're getting, we're playing against you, Supreme. I did not, I don't, I don't know if he got top one hundred, but he was a really good player. I remember that. Obviously, this is post commentary. I already played this game, and I'm starting off with the ball. That's something that you never want to have. Go into your settings right now, and turn uh, your uh, coin toss choices. First one is gonna be kick, and second one is gonna be against the wind. So that in the fourth quarter, if you're kicking off in the first quarter, and you're kicking off against the wind, that means in the second quarter, you're going to have the wind going with you. Third quarter, once again, kicking against the wind. And then in the fourth quarter, just in case you need to hit a game-winning field goal, you have the wind in your favor. Now I'm setting audibles for trips tight end and for U-trips. U-trips is another formation that's really powerful out of uh, the Patriots playbook. I've just, I just haven't ran it a lot yet. Which means that this is not going to be the prettiest showing on offense. But it's going to get better, I promise. This is also going to be a part of the Patriots ebook. I already released the first part of the Patriots ebook. If you want to check that out, obviously do so. Very good offense. But until uh, I'm ready to show this huge trip, I still have to get some reps in. Because I don't want to show you guys something that I, I'm not comfortable running yet. And so far, I'm not that comfortable. I'm going to be totally honest. Now, second and eight, trying to run the ball. Don't get anything, really. And now it's time for me to pass the ball. I'm trying to see which defense he's in. And I throw a pick. That was a really bad read. I should have I should have seen Sean Taylor jumping down into the flat. Should not have thrown that. That was bad. It looked open. It wasn't. Should have noticed that. Shouldn't have quick thrown it like that. And he gets 7 points. 26 seconds into the game. My offense. Totally honest. Right here. My offense. Up until this point in this weekend league was not great. It was I was throwing picks left, right, and center. I was lucky to be in that good of a spot to still uh, pretty much guaranteed get 18 wins. It was really lucky. Now 7 and 0. He hasn't even touched the ball once on offense. That's not a good sign for things to come. Now gotta tr try to return the ball a bit. Get to the 30. About okay, fine return. And this time we gotta do better on offense. I'm also setting audibles for uh, ace close and ace slot offset. These ones are uh, these are the one, two formations that I broke down in the previous video, uh, the previous tips video. It's a very really good combination now. It's also the scheme that I feel most comfortably comfortably in right now, which is why I'm gonna run it now. Now, first and ten after throwing a pick, you pretty much always want to run the ball, and my guess would be that that's what I do. I'm gonna audible from. Uh, slot offset into no I'm not even gonna audible into excuse me I'm just gonna throw the angle route pick up 10 yards for a first time get absolutely rocked 
but Barry Sanders doesn't cough the ball out, which is, you know, very uh, suitable, uh, which works works really well. Now, first and ten, this corner out is open. Gonna take it. Beautiful read. Beautiful read. Like I said, this is the scheme that I feel most comfortably, uh, most comfortable in right now. And two passes, two completion for 23 yards after a pick six is really good. That's a, that's a good way to kind of settle back into the flow of things. Now, first and ten, I'm gonna switch to uh, this RPO and I fall forward or I run for eight yards. <laughs> Can't ask for uh, much more than that. That went really well as well. Uh, really good as well. So. I kind of getting things going, even though I started off really poorly. I'm now in a spot where it's like, okay, I'm back in my groove, basically. That's what I'm thinking. Second and two, I'm gonna try the same thing. This time, throw the RPO. Very tough play to stop, just in general. Woof! You see the swerve right there, getting better with the stick skills now. Swerved a bit out, then back in. Beautiful. Now, 15 yard line. This hair is getting so long. If the barber shops don't open in, within the next two weeks, it's gonna be bad. Um, Okay, first and 10 at the 15 yard line. Sorry for getting off topic there. That's just something that annoys me lately. Sticking in this ace slot offset. And what you can see is that I'm looking to throw a cover two beat. I'm going to motion the uh, Calvin Johnson across. And yeah, we'll just see if what I what I uh, drew up works. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. He was in a cover three. This only beats cover two. Recognize that. Or was it, he was even in cover, cover four palms. He must have adjusted that. That looked like a cover three. Um, anyways, did not work. So just scramble uh, for a couple of, for a couple of yards. Second and six now. I'm gonna audible into ace close uh, for real this time, and we'll just see if we can get anything going on the ground game. Second and six. This is a good uh, spot to run the ball. Try that. Get absolutely rocked. And Taylor Mays picks up the ball. Taylor Mays for my opponents just causes fumbles my Taylor Mays doesn't do that this weekend league, I think I got one fumble and that was on a kick return when Tyreek Hill spun into Taylor Mays that's the only fumble Taylor Mays forced this weekend 25 games one fumble I seem to fumble uh, every three games no nah, that's maybe a bit outrageous every every four games my, my, my running back fumbles and it's not even like my opponents are not using um, are not using Barry Sanders. They're using the same Barry Sanders. I'm running at them with the same, with 100% the same Taylor Mays and no fumbles. It's just weird how that works. Now he's coming out in tight offset tight end. That this formation, let me tell you, it's a pain in the ass to stop. Everyone that plays man knows that this is so annoying to stop. Good throw by him. And at this point, I know that this is going to be very tough to beat. He's once again coming on title set and and I don't know why I'm not switching defenses yet because that first play just shows that that my plan was not gonna work at all not not even a little bit so if, uh, first and ten I put soft squats out there right now that just made it even worse I don't know why soft squats play that te this terribly this year just seems to be that way or that play I'm not saying all year because they actually do have some merit and they're not they're not even half bad but right there they're just they're just dumped out now right there good user by me doesn't get anything around now I'm switching defenses because this is a better defense against side of Satan than anything else just send everybody I would personally recommend you to use a linebacker I'm not gonna go to that actually if you guys want to know how to defend uh, Tight offset tight end. Blitz everyone. Put them at the line like that, which is just blitzing all linebackers and then continually, continually f pressing the DB. Good throw by him. I mean, it was lucky because I could have easily paid it back there. He saw that I was not gonna. I mean, he gambled. Paid, paid out. But I would recommend you to use one of the linebackers, whichever one is on the halfback side. And then as soon as you, the quarterback starts rolling out, just mm, shoot around. Just use a rush him. That's how I'm going to defend it during this game. Otherwise, these corners, they're just so tough to guard. Right there. Good job by him. Evading everybody. Gaining 13 yards on a scramble. If you, if you don't get home with seven people, there's a lot of room to scramble. No. First and goal. I'm thinking that he's going to just continue to uh, pass the ball. Because he's still... Has the threat of running with Lamar Jackson, and I don't think that he trusts his run because I blew one run of his up. 
and it did not work at all. Now right there, you see that I'm kind of trying to do that. I'm kind of starting to figure out that that might just be, be the move to defend this. Now, second goal. Uh, the quarter ends, second quarter, pretty bad quarter for me. I had a pick six on my second throw, or on my first throw, and my Barry Sanders fumbled for me. Not in a good spot at this point. And pretty much all I'm doing right now is trying to keep the game manageable. That's all, that's the big deal right now for me. I'm going to continue to send everybody, that's just what I want to do against uh that's just what i want to do against that of the and honestly it's really the only thing you can do right there nothing is open he had the two people late but i don't think that he saw it if he had saw it if he had seen it then it might have been a touchdown he didn't force it smart by him probably he just wants to take his three that's what i'm thinking at least uh would be the smartest for him we once again coming out in cover four drop shot two blitzing every linebacker everyone and their mother and I'm just trying to contain him from rolling to the outside because that's the only thing that makes this um, offense really great. Being able to roll, to roll out, that's what makes it tough, you know. He's going to motion snap again and we're just screaming off the edge, baby. That's, that's what we want to have. He will have to take his field goal, fourth and goal on the 23-yard line. He's not going to go for it. Kicks his field goal, very smart. So we're still in the game. That last drive before the fumble was a really good drive. I felt like I was moving the ball quite easily on him. And he did not really have any chance of stopping me that drive. Besides that fumble that happened, unfortunately. Now, so I'm thinking that I can get, I can at least get three. The thing is, I can't. I just can't throw a pick. If I throw a pick here, the game is pretty much over. Because then he... Tato said it's so tough to stop for me because I don't face it a lot. And just in general, I'm very clueless what to do against it. Until I found kind of like this, but still, this user rushing for me is kind of weird because I, ne I never do it. So if this drive doesn't work, I'll be in trouble. First and 10 at the 31, good starting field position at least. So that's a positive. I'm gonna need to drive 69 yards. Haha, <laughs> nice. Um, but in order for me to do that, then I will have to do a lot of things right. Like that, for example. Little swerve. Gain a first down. I think that's a first. No, it's not a second. It's a second inches. God damn it. At least, oh no. Second inches is actually really good down because not, you can really take, you can take a deep shot. You can pass the ball and, you know, just try to not get a chunk play because you can still pick it up on third down. I'm not in the business of doing that though. I did not want to risk anything. If I can get the first down, I'm going to get the first down. So right there, I saw that he's just going to stick in this uh, cover four match. And he really was not going to switch. Seems like he's coming out in 3-4 uh, odd now. Which is a bit of a better defense against this. I actually clicked the wrong button there. I wanted to release the tight end. I'm only used to releasing tight ends with X. The tight end that I wanted to release was triangle. So that threw me off there. Thankfully there was no zone there. I got really lucky there. That might as well have been a pick. Right there, nothing happens. Try to fall forward. Bear is not going to fall forward to you. He's really a joke, and he, he's really he feels really good on the left thumbstick. It's just he's not going to truck somebody. That's not that's not who he is. Not not mad at that. And I'm just trying to. I'm just going to try to run the ball. Third and one. That's a running down. I'm in a good running position uh, formation uh, with this ace close. It does not work at all. It just appears to me that. Anyone can shed my O-line. It's so annoying. At least I can kick the field goal. I lost the yard. Still can kick the field goal. Am I going to make it? That's the question. Because this is a big kick. <sighs> Just made it. My first three points are on the board. He's still up a touchdown. But I've, at the end of the last drive, I showed signs that I can stop him. So that gives me a little bit of confidence, you know. I'm kicking the ball off to him. Basically, I'm thinking that I can't even give a lot of field goal right here. I can't allow a run back. And if he gets tackled right there, I, my job is to not give up points here. That, that, that plain and simple. If I give up points now, I'm in the same spot that I would have been in if I hadn't gotten any points last draft. And that would that, that would really suck. He's coming out in tight of the 10. And this offense is so tough to stop. I know that, but I mean, you got to fight. What are you going to do? Are you going to complain? Of course not. You're going to fight. Uh, it seems like he's, he's pretty much always rolling out to the side of the running back. 
uh, so I I'm always looking to contain to that side I'm always trying to swerve around this or loop around the side where it's gonna roll out to once again gonna be the left now right there thankfully he didn't, he didn't throw it uh, let's see what penalty we have <sighs> I personally don't understand why uh, there are these penalties why these penalties are in the game it's just annoying because we, really, we pretty much have no control over it he gets the five yards first and five now and what I'm gonna do is since still running base on the left side now I'm gonna use the chase here and try to contain him like I said there's not much uh, for me to explain from a defensive standpoint just just that I'm trying to contain him right there she's here chases him down beautiful eight yard loss no actually seven yards seven yard loss that's all that I can expect now I can play some defense let's go second and 12 now that's a tough spot for him he's gonna try to roll out try the same thing he did the last time I just have to make sure that it's not gonna work basically I have to put him under pressure once again gonna do the same motion block and get engaged there roll out to the wrong side or a uh, loop around the wrong side and he throws to Tory Holt good pass by him that was just not by me I should have recognized that he's always rolling out to the right side or to the side of the running back and then looped around from there yeah you get the idea it was bad defense by me I think at this point I actually uh, re re realized it and now I'm using on Lewis and you will see that first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go after Lamar Jackson right there. I misused it. Thankfully, he didn't he got scared and threw the ball away, which is smart, you know, because he's at the 38 and at the 38 he can kick a field goal. So it's smart by him to not uh, risk anything, risk getting sacked there, because then he would not be in field goal range anymore. Then he then he would actually have to fight now. Once again, I'm gonna do the same thing, lurking on Lewis, making sure to force him inside the pocket. That's pretty much all I can do. This is because these corners they are so tough to stop. And people are, have gotten so good of getting outside the pocket. Right there, second, call a timeout. That's what I wanted. He had nothing open there. These Conrads only get open after like a certain amount of time. And if he doesn't get that time, he's screwed. He's screwed. I just can't run past him with my user. That's the only thing that would that that uh, would uh, that can that can maybe uh, break on this defense. That can maybe not work properly. Well, that could happen. I just took too long to get the quarterback. Plain and simple, that's it. Good throw by him. He has doubled me. I'm thinking, okay, I just want to. I just want to get to the quarterback. That's all. He's gonna be covered for maybe the first two seconds, and if I can get to the quarterback within two to three seconds, I don't think that he's gonna make the read in time. Right there, he throws it at me, and bam, Taylor Mays. So he doesn't get any points, and even better. I get chased down there by an offensive lineman, but it's cool. It seems like it's Lane Johnson, so it's actually pretty fast. But anyways, get the ball back. That's what we wanted. 21 seconds now to at least get a field goal. I got two time two timeouts. I'm in a good spot to get a field goal, you know? And I think that he's expecting the RPO to come. Just from his positioning, that seems to be what he's looking at. I get sacked. I had the cover four beat. It was so open. It was so open. I just didn't get the time to do it. PA pound draw pass. Another cover four beater that I wanted to go to. Just wanted to see if he was dumb enough to give it to me. Probably not. But I was. Ju I'm, I'm just gonna take my chance. 16 seconds left. Why not? Still have the in route in case it gets covered. It gets covered. Throw the in route. Get upfield. I'm at the 45 yard line. <clears throat> I'm at my 45 yard line. That means that I only need 15 more. Uh, 15 more yards or so for field goal range maybe even maybe only even 13 if the wind is in my favor now here's where things get interesting i can't get tackled or i can get tackled in bounds here actually because because of the run sorry my fault i definitely can get tackled in bounds i just need to make sure to gain the yards i'm gonna i'm gonna streak sharp yeah that's what I, that's what I, I remember that play and he baits on the corner just a little bit he bites on it just a little bit i throw the streak i hurry it up i spike the ball and i kick my field goal that was about as perfectly managed as that situation could have been what is going on with my finger it's bleeding okay <clears throat> so gonna kick my field goal 
Gonna make sure to get it. Hopefully I get it because that was not full power. <sighs> just made it. Just made it. That was that was really close. Just made it. So now it's actually a very good spot for me. I'm only down four points. Even though he gets the ball, he has not moved the ball well. I mean he has, but he has also made a couple of mistakes. And we're gonna try to force another one. He has not gotten a touchdown yet. That's a very big thing. He can drive the ball, but he's not gonna get into the end zone, into the end zone on me. That's all I know. So with that information, he gets destroyed. With that information, I feel like I actually feel confident because the drive that he got a field goal uh, was one where I no, no, it actually wasn't me throwing a pick. It was me fumbling. Okay. So actually that gives me a little bit less confidence because I actually had a nice drive. But right there you see that he's getting a bit smarter now. He's throwing these out routes. It is important to recognize with a uh, title set tight end what your opponent is doing and which way th the formation is facing. I remember out route on the running back side, meaning that I'm going to put a hard flat. If I show my player that. Uh, can I show my player please? I put a hard flat on, this, on the left side from, of the screen right now. Just to account for that out route. He's putting a hitch there. Very smart. The corner route would have been open again. But he just gets sacked. Doesn't have the time to throw the corner route if he gets sacked, obviously. Third and 12 just now. Once again, running back is on the right side. I make adjustment for running back on the right side. Gotta flip my adjustments. Okay, that's fine. You'll see that we basically have the perfect coverage out there. Because if I get in, there's nothing going to be open. The... Hitch is going to be covered. He throws the hitch. It's not covered because he, he escaped the pocket and bought some extra time and just got the first down. Good play by him. Got a bounce back on the next drive. Uh, on the next play. First and 10 now. I'm once again making adjustments, doing all that good stuff. And I just decided, okay, I'm just going to man up the hitch or out route. I don't want that to be butt naked anymore. I, I'm done with that kind of. Gonna scream in. He escapes uh, Lewis for a lot of yards. Runs straight into Brian Dawkins in the sideline. If he would have fumbled, he would have fumbled it out of bounds. So I'm not mad at that. First and ten at hit at my 42. He's in field goal range right now. I got forced to turn over. Otherwise, he's just gonna get a field goal. I'm gonna put a spy out there on the field. I'm gonna use a rushing man if he wants to scramble. He's gonna run straight in the spy. I wanna make it. Uh, I wanna get to the point where he really cannot. And right there, that was the point where I was like, okay, I gotta get Dion out of there. Quarterbacks can't get picks right there. If I put a safety there, it's gonna scare him a bit because safeties can actually jump in this game. If I put a safety there, maybe he can make a play on that. It's just gonna muddy up the read a bit more. If he wants to throw it, he probably could. But I just want to make it tough on him, you know? First and 10 now. He is not getting into the end zone. I'm thinking I can't get him into the end zone. Just like I said. First and 10. He's, his Lamar Jackson is activated. It does, doesn't do him any good. Like, what are you going to do with Bazooka? Right there. He wants to throw the corner out so bad, I can already tell. But because the field is shortened and because there's a safety there, he, he can't throw it. If he had thrown that, it would have been a pick. Pressure gets in. Forced to throw the ball away. That's a win for the defense. Second and 10 now. I'm adjusting a bit. Sending everybody, like every play. I just want to put him under stress. I, I just put want to put some pressure on him. Make sure that he is not going to get the time that he wants. I felt like he was going to roll out to the um, roll out to the left. No, he throws the out right to the right. Very good play. Also, good play by Troy P. He was in a deep. He was in a deep quarter there, and he played that very good job by him. So third and six, I'm putting double hard flats out there just because I feel like that might be something that he's going for. This is extremely risky defense, but I'm just gonna, you got risky for the biscuits sometimes. Um, the corner out would have been open if the field would if the field had been longer. It wasn't. That means he has to throw it away. And he has to take his field goal. That's a win for me. Once again, he's, he drove down the field, but I held him in, city, in, the end zone, uh, in the red zone. He has not scored a touchdown on me on offense yet. That is the only reason why I'm in this game. Kicking his field goal, up 7 points. Good job by my defense. Even though we bent, we didn't break. And that's the big point. 
I now have a chance to tie up the game with a touchdown. And I actually feel confident, confident doing that because I moved the ball fine the last drive, which was the one before the uh, before half. I just got stopped by the time. He didn't stop me, the clock stopped me, you know? So that's why I got a bit more swagger in my offense now. I think I can do some things, maybe. Once again, Ace Love said, it's been the bread and butter. This is the only reason that I'm in the game. If I'd stayed in uh, U-Trips, probably not in that game no more. Probably already flooded. Gotta try to run the ball a bit. He just sheds me. That's number 90. That's Shadavian Clown. He just sheds me. Whatever. Gotta be careful now because Barry is gassed after that hit. He thankfully didn't fumble. That would be fitting. He didn't fumble. Even though that would be fitting, he didn't fumble. I'm just thinking... Okay, I can get the protection down. I want to see if I can throw the corner out. And I can. I wanted to roll out to the right actually, but I didn't. The protection didn't quite set up as to where I could. I wanted him to either uh, take the post that's coming from the left or have to take the corner out. He took the, um, he took the post, then saw the corner out, went back there, didn't quite get there. Scrambled. Very easy to spread the user out, and yeah, I just got open with my quarterback. Ran for a couple of yards, slid at the 39 yard. Now he accidentally clicked on. In weekly league, I'm accepting. I'm accepting this. People have, are accepting these any every time on me. I'm not gonna be the bigger man. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna accept that. Yeah, no questions there. First and five now, but that also means that I have to run the ball. First and five, however, is a good spot. I'd rather trade that than going to the fourth quarter. Right there. Even get the first down. That was so dumb of him. He, he just gave me tw uh, he just gave me about 15 yards. 15 free yards. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week now. First and 10. Coming out of an inside zone. I want to establish the threat of running the ball. That was a poor read because I could have thrown uh, to my wide receiver. Anyways only last yard that's the benefit of running the ball if you make a mistake running the ball you lose you lose a yard maybe two if you make a mistake passing the ball like you like you saw earlier in the game you get a pick six possibly and it's out it's actually very likely because most of the passes that I throw if I throw a pick on them it's a pick six you know right there got had to, I would have had the chance I had the chance to throw this uh, to throw this what's his name uh, to throw the hitch. I just I just got happy feet in the pocket. So undisciplined. So undisciplined, man. And this guy's making YouTube videos. Jesus Christ. Quick snapping him right here. Throwing it to the tight end. I knew that he was going to click off. I just knew. Because that's what these pussies do. They click off. They don't make the tackles themselves. I, I do the same thing, so I can't even really talk. Besides that, got the first. Got the first. Very big. Third and 18, I think about. And I got the first down on a flat route to the tight end. Right there. He once again clicks off. I should have just juke. I should have just trusted my instinct and juke, but I didn't. Don't trust myself. Also, the streak would have probably been open for a touchdown. So I missed that. Once again, gonna run the play post. Because that's what we do around here. We run the very good play post. I got Moss on a hitch. Just to have something to check down to, maybe. And I'm banking that he's in cover two. He's not. Nothing is there. I wanted to throw the angle route. It would have been open. I would have been at the five yard line just about. Didn't quite get it. It was a pressure inaccurate. Third and eight. Now, this is the biggest play of the game thus far. Because I've had a fine drive. It's, it's a good drive. Uh, can't say anything bad about it. But if I don't get into, any, into the end zone of this drive, it's not going to be worth nothing. It's not going to be worth a damn thing. So I'm gonna run this corner route to see if I can get open and I can. Who's that? That is number uh, 90 or who is that? That probably was Kevin Green. Kevin Green is a linebacker yet. I really strongly doubt that he gets lurker. So I felt pretty good knowing that he was not gonna get that. And I'm at the two yard line, just like that. Very, very easy. Not very easy, there was a tight window. I just trusted the game to not give a linebacker that pick in that spot. Two yard line now. I feel like running the ball, you know? It's man 20. You're at the two yard line. You're in a good set. Nothing happens. 
Okay, so that did not work as planned. Second and goal now. Second and goal. I want to pass the ball because that's just me. It's really dumb. It's it. Excuse me. It really is dumb. You shouldn't do that. And I will show you why you shouldn't do that in a second. Because nothing is going to be open. The field is just so condensed. Nothing is going to be open. Why would I do that? Why would I pass the ball now? Third and goal. I'm once again going to pass the ball because I I think I trust myself. He leaves the streak. <sighs> And he baits back to it. That was a dumb read. I should have known that there was no other route in the vicinity in the vicinity for him to guard. He had to go back to the streak. I should have known that. I just tested his user and I got burnt. Now, I don't want to make it seem like the game is over because it's not. But that's just a very good. Um, that was, that's just an exhibition on how to throw a game away. I threw a pick six, my first pass, and I did that. Very poor. He comes out running the ball. Thankfully, I got run defense. Gonna take my first time out. Second and 12 now. And at this point in the game, I'm very pissed, but I also know that the game is not over because he still has to, has to get a first down. He's coming out in weak pro. Gonna audible into weak close flex. So, just gotta get a stop here, man. Just gotta get a stop here. I'm putting some coverage out there because I've seen people burning me. Uh, I've seen one person burning me. And it's a copycat leak. He streams on Twitch. And if he streams on Twitch, got sacked there. If he streams on Twitch, people are going to know his stuff. And they're going to run it. And I was really scared of him running that stuff. Because it, it's really good. It's a good player. Poison, if you don't know him. Really good player on PS4. I knew that that formation. I knew the plays out of it. So that's why I was a bit concerned. Turn 22 now. I don't think that he's going to get anything, to be honest. I just think he's going to run the ball. And hope. Pray. That he can play some defense. That's the only thing he can do. Um, third and 22. I don't think he's going to pa pass the ball. Because that's just a big risk to, to take. Imagine getting a pick. And me being already me already being in field goal range maybe. Makes it even easier to get a touchdown now. He gets sacked at the 4 yard line. That's a bad spot for him. Because now he can't put the ball re uh, as far as he would like to. Going to go back with Taylor Mays. Just to protect against the fake. Going to run back. Is he going to keep it in bounds? No, he's not gonna keep it in bounds. I mean, it's a bad punt. I'm already at this, in his side, of, at his side of the field, in his territory. But at least it's out of bounds. I don't get a chance at a kick return touchdown or anything crazy like that. Now, I'm gonna try to do this same thing that I did earlier. Gonna throw the bubble this time because I felt like he might think that I'm too scared to throw the bubble if his user is lit up. I'm not, I'm not. If I read that you're not guarding it, then I'm going to throw it. I tried to throw that with a low pass. I don't know why I did. That was stupid. And the one positive thing, however, is that the clock stopped. The clock stopped. I can regather, refocus, re regain my thoughts now. Second and ten. I'm audibly into uh, Ace Close because it's a good formation. And it has one thought that I want to go back to. That already worked once. Johnson to the outside. He's in cover two. I saw that. The play was designed against cover three. And it didn't work. It just didn't work. Thankfully got the ball away. If that would have been a sack the game. I don't know if it would have been over. But it would have been really, really tough from this point. Now third and ten. I can still do some things. And... This is actually now a very, very big play. I want to go back into this formation just because he hasn't seen it yet. And maybe he's going to he's gonna make a mistake. Maybe he is. And I don't want to spoil it, but he makes a mistake. <laughs> he makes a mistake. We're going to punish him for it. Got the touchdown. Got the very big touchdown. I don't know what he was thinking there. <sighs> I really don't. I also don't know what coverage that was. I mean, it was a cover three. I don't know which zone he was using because he was using a safety. Was he using the... Uh, in, he must have... Okay, he probably was using the inside third. Well, why in the world then is there an outside third? That's questions over questions. Anyways, I got the touchdown, but now it's still 37 seconds on the clock. He still can get in field goal range, and I have to play defense for 35 seconds. Now... He's gonna come out and tie us at 10 and it's just on me whether I can stop it or not. If I can stop it, then 
all the glory to me. But if I can't, then all of this would have been for nothing. That that, that can't that can't go. Uh, that's not that's not the way we're gonna end this now. First 10, 20 yard line. He needs about uh, let's say run about 40 yards for field goal range. I get in there. He doesn't get his feet in. That was so close. I thought I thought for sure he got his feet in. Maybe he was a bit he got a bit cheated there. Let me know in the comments below. I was so close. That was so close to being in bounds. And if that would have been in bounds, uh, tough. Wait, that I, I would be in a horrible spot because that just shrink, shrinks the meal, the field drastically, and it also would have been out of bounds. <sighs> Thankfully, he, did, he got cheated there. No, he's not throwing anything. Throwing the ball away, away very smart. Not risking it because if he throws a pick here. I have the game won, pretty much. Smart at him to roll out. He's coming out in weak close flex, so I don't, I don't quite know what to think. Also, I make a mistake adjusting him, and you will see that mistake in a second. Um, right here, he's in a seam flat. He's not in a deep half, so that sucks. You know that sucks, and I get kind of like confused with my adjustments right here. He just throws it up. He just. He just he disrespects my user. If I had a better user there, that's a pick, that's game. He disrespects my user, throws it directly at me. Not directly at me, but in, in the area where I could very well make a play. He, he, he just he just embarrasses me. That's embarrassing. I should have gotten a pick that game. Should have been over. It's not though. 17 seconds, two timeouts. He's at th he needs, uh, let's say, 17 yards for field goal range. I think that's a fair assumption. He needs 17 yards for field goal range. I kick off because in the case that he gets cocky and makes a move on me. I want to force a fumble. I want that so bad. Yeah, but he doesn't. He gets out of bounds very smart. Now it's just time for me to just really lock up. He runs the ball. I don't understand that call. I mean, I do kind of, but you have to waste. I mean, time, the time on not really affect, but why run the ball? You've been putting me in so under so much pressure, passing the ball. Uh, why do you keep running the ball? Oh, or why do you run the ball? I don't know. Anyways, he's flipping his formation for the quintillionth time. Once again, I got the defense for it though. I man up the outside wide receiver on the left. That is going to be very important. So, you see? Boom. Clowny is there to make the tackle at the 45. If that wouldn't have, if he, if I hadn't manned him up, he might have gotten into field goal range. He only needed about, mm, he might need, he might have needed like f five or six more yards. If Clowny is not there, that has a chance of he has a chance of getting that. Thankfully, I manned up the hitch. That was that was really clutch. Not gonna lie. He's just gonna pass the ball one final time. And I'm thinking, you know what? Today is the day. I'll just send everybody. Maybe I'll get lucky. He can't stop the clock anymore. He can't kick a field goal. He has to get a touchdown, and this play is gonna. Uh, I've seen fumbles on that. I've seen fumbles on that. He's gonna take a shot at the end zone. I've seen fumbles in that exact scenario. That's what I played for. Yeah, and after a pretty horrible game by me, if I do say so myself, at least offensive wise. I get a chance to lose the coin flip. I lost the coin flip in overtime. Damn, and he gets the ball. And I never know uh, which way the wind is going. Or what that means, what I should select. And I select the, ro select the wrong way. You see, he has the wind in his back. He's gonna, it's gonna uh, expand his field goal range. Very tough, very tough cookie to swallow. No, uh, very tough cookie, no. Kicking it off to Tyreek Hill. Just praying to not give up anything. Tries to make a move there. Not going to get anything. Whew, he drove the ball with ease last time. So I'm scared. Because if he, if he drives the ball again like that, then he might he might not run out of time. Or he won't run out of time. And I will have to get a legit stop. That's what I'm afraid of. Because that is going to be really tough to get. First and ten now. <sighs> let's get this stop, man. Let's, let's really get this stop. It's going to motion in. Gonna get the blocking down. Gonna rush. Send my uh, hitch is open. Okay, I misspoke there. Hitch is open, and he's just starting me up. I mean, 12 for 19 is not a great completion percentage, but the pass that he's been throwing, they have been good passes. Second and five now. Whew. 
kind of put a vert hook there, shade it down, so that he, he doesn't have a chance to get burned on man coverage. And I skirt, I skirt in from the left side, get the sack. Ten yard loss of, ten yard loss, loss of down as well. Really big play. I get quick snapped. He runs straight back, cause he's scared. Why are your heart beating? Cause you scared. We get the ball back. Now, he's in a bad spot. I'm pretty much going to be in field goal range if he gives me a chance to return this. He kicks it to my 35. He outkicked his coverage. He gets blocked. And that's game. I'm in field goal range, baby. And what do you know? Complete turnaround. Came back in the fourth quarter, was down a touchdown, drove all the way. To the two yard line. Get stopped. He gets the ball. Has another chance. To end the game. Takes all of my timeouts. All of my timeouts. Get the ball back. I drive into field goal range. Okay I'm thinking. But I gotta get a touchdown. I throw a laser. I lose the toy cost in overtime. Toy cost. <laughs> I lose the coin toss in overtime. He gets the ball. I stop him. I run into field goal range. I kick the game. That was just an insane game. I hope you had fun watching it. Hopefully you also learned a thing or two. If you did, then please let me know by hitting the subscribe button. Yeah, I'm going to be live over on Twitch tonight or today, your time. Uh, like 2 p.m. Yeah, I think 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is accurate. Maybe even 2 to 3 p.m. Somewhere in there. Eastern Standard Time. Go check that. I'm also gonna release a video saying that I'm online on Twitch. Also, be ready for that. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you want to see the scheme that I ran primarily in this video, please do so. I'm gonna link it at the end of the video. Have fun with Madden. Pass the ball. Go do all that good stuff. See you in the next video. Peace out.